Oh, you want to move over next to me, man? Oh, sure. Hey. It's sweaty. <laughs> hey, uh, wait, hey. You're up. What up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're going to be installing this awesome looking Vance and Hines air cleaner on my eye 2019 Iron 883. Easy install. Hope so, because we had the biggest uh, headache trying to install these uh, Vance and Hines short shots. If you've seen that video, then you know what I'm talking about. Vincent Hines, air cleaner, packaged up. This thing looks sick. This stuff is pretty easy, guys. We're first gonna start with, Jerry's just gonna be here looking. Watching. Pretty and watching. Super know. Supervising. Yeah, he's a, he's a supervisor now. So real simple, what we're gonna do first is, obviously loosen this up, this cover here, come right out, just as is. I don't understand how they go from Allen to Tor. Uh, yeah, it's retarded. Let's make it all the same. Good yeah. thing about these air cleaners is that they come right off, very simple. Um, even with the instructions, you, I mean, I technically don't like using instructions just because most of the time they, they say a million things that don't make any sense anyways. So I just like look and glimpse and then Ooh, move on from there. Look how dirty that thing is. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. That's pretty grody, man. Yeah, you got a lot of grime in there. Shit, Damn. Right? This is why changing and cleaning out your air cleaner, getting your services. Look at all this grime and grip and look, look at that. I don't even know what that is. That's disgusting. But this is a sub that are gonna be sucked into your engine and blah, make it blow. Hey, hey, who's running the show here, Jerry? Who's telling you to do it the right way instead of you taking hey, a hey. manifold for it? You're here for the big bucks, man. You just, you just look at me work. Make comments. It goes back and forth. Allen and yeah, I know. It makes no sense. Smart bits and this and that. Ass, butt, tomato, tomato. Same thing. Different size. I'm gonna go ahead and start installing everything. Let's get a new view. All right, guys. So first things first, we're gonna start with these O-rings. You're gonna. Use, I had some of this leftover oil here from my previous installs before, so we're gonna just get a dab of that and just, that's a big dab. Just dab it up a little bit on the outside. Uh, I'll tell you in a minute why we're doing this. We're gonna put these oil rings right in place. Right here. The reason why you wanna use the oil is because of that. It adds like a lubrication, also like a sticky device so it doesn't fall off anywhere. You can just place it on there and yeah, keep working. All right, so you're gonna take your throttle mount brackets and then we're gonna get this gasket in the back. We're gonna line it up how it should. And then we're gonna get our breathers, uh, breather bolts, line them up and see if we can screw anything at once right now. Put it on there, put your uh, breather bolts right in there. Alright, so just when I thought things were <laughs> going, were gonna go really smooth, then they didn't go as smooth. Um, I gotta say, this has to be the the more difficult uh, air breather I've installed. The other ones have just been so simply, simply easy. But these holes, just just to let you know, these breather holes are extremely hard. The way you gotta uh, loop them into the holes of this backing plate and then put them in place, like it's a bit difficult. You gotta play around with it a lot. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and install this aluminum Venturi now. So the breather hole is gonna lay right on top of it so it could just puke everything. Right, Jerry, puke? I puke back into it. Now we got these three screws and these three screws are gonna go right in here onto the backing plate. We'll screw that on, and then uh, we're uh, almost on our way home, baby. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're like pretty much almost done. Let me get that breather right there, yep. Perfect. And we're gonna line this up just like this. Does this have to go anywhere? Uh, no. 
So now we have our air filter in our air filter cage right here. So we're gonna put this on just like that. This little silver thing, it's gonna be to the right because that's where the Vance and Hines name is gonna cover that. Just make sure to line everything up. We'll put four screws in this and then we're, um, we're pretty much home. Yep. These already come with some type of Loctite mechanism in it, so you don't have to go apply Loctite. Boom. That really didn't take long. That might have taken maybe 10 minutes to do this, guys. I always saw everybody on my channel. I am nowhere near a mechanic. I'm just okay with my hands, so if I could do it, then you can do it. Um, and then look, we are, we're done. Make sure everything is properly screwed in. So he's a little more in love. That is one nice looking air cleaner. I gotta say that this is, I'm not saying just because this is mine, I picked that out, but this is one nice air cleaner right here. So that was a pretty nice, easy, it was pretty easy. It, not as easy as the other uh, air cleaners that I've done, but pretty much it took around 12 minutes or so to do. Um, Jerry, honest impressions. What do you think about this new Vance and Hines air cleaner? Oh, it looks great. Uh, I like the look, you know, just it cleans up the whole thing because they have big air cleaner and stock air cleaner and it's there, it's so much nicer. I, I just love the little hint of red from mm -hmm. the from the filter with the little iron red on the tank so it just complements it well. Um, no, I got a call. Yo. Yo. Yo, I'm filming right now, bro. Uh. I. Like I was saying, no, this was not gifted to me. Uh, this was purchased. So, on this review from the install, install, um, this was pretty, pretty good, pretty easy. The only thing I didn't like was the, the breather holes, the way you got to uh, loop them in. It's a little annoying, I don't like that. But besides that, the design, obviously, I love. Really beautiful, it brings everything out. Um, and I think we should just turn the bike on and see how, uh, let her breathe. That's gonna pretty much be it. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If this is the type of content you're looking for, you're definitely in the right place. This is my 2019 Sporty. Uh, there's a 15 down and low rider and a 2020 low rider. That's plenty of more content coming, installs as well. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Oh, wait. And enjoy the ride, baby. Now we do the peace. 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 Alright guys, so we're gonna take your mountain plates. Alright guys, so you're gonna take your blah blah blah. blah. No. Alright guys, you're gonna take your mount body bracket. So you're gonna take your throttle mount. <laughs> so now we have our air filter and our air. Blah.